how to create an ebook in canva hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can get started with building your ebooks in canva so let's get into it now canva can be a great tool to build your ebooks especially with the fact that it's so user friendly and even as a beginner you can easily build your ebook with templates and pre-existing designs so to get started you have to create your account on canva I already have an account so I have just logged in. If you don't have one already yet then just simply sign up with your email address and that is it. From here you can go into this search bar and you can search for ebook. Now this is just to give you guys an idea of how to build your ebook. They have quite a few different free and paid templates available for you to start building your ebook. They have quite a few categories industries or niches that they are targeting so they have things such as you know text oriented books they also have you know recipe oriented books content books and you know quite a few different types of templates are available so a lot of people might wonder what is the size of an ebook well a size of an ebook is 512 by 800 pixels but it's really variable by the device that you are building it for if you're building it in a landscape version specifically for ipads that is going to be a different design but mostly it is 500 by 800 something along those lines now in this we have quite a few different templates available so i'll get started with a template and then i'll show you guys how you can build your own templates as well so if you want to build something that's absolutely unique to you. Now you guys can see this is a simple ebook that has been designed for recipes and whatnot. And I'll just take this template over here. And they have, you know, the chapter one, the recipes, they have the content. So I'll get started with this. Fashion newbies. The ultimate guide. Ultimate guide like this and then I'm going to replace the image in the background and I'm just going to search for a fashion over here like this and I am just going to search for any image like so or something that would provide a bit more of a contrast or I can just change you know the text color so it's a bit more visually easy to look at. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this image a little. And once I have resized my image, I want to place it like this. Or maybe I think I want to place it like so, like this. And then I'm going to click on the text and then click on effects on the top right and provide them with a lifted effect. So this can help in the visual element so the text is really readable even though it is you know it doesn't have a lot of contrast and that's because i don't want to add like you know blocks behind it i could add blocks you know translucent blocks to make the text more visually um uh, to make the text visually stand out but i think this looks a bit more neat and i personally like this look a lot now we have our content so in your contents you're going to get started with writing your chapters let's say you have chapter one, which is history of fashion, history of fashion, um, chapter two, which might be, you know, let's say it's evolution, current styles, current icons like this. We've built our table of contents and with ebooks, I like to hyperlink it. So in my chapter one, I'm just going to click on the this icon and then i'm going to group this usually i like to group the entire thing so the chapter name is grouped and then i like to go ahead and click on these three dots and then click on link over here and you can link these to a particular page if you can't find the link you can just ungroup it and link everything individually as well so you can click on link and i want this to link to a page which is going to be page number three. And page number three is the page from where our chapter one is going to start. So history of fashion like this. And I'm going to search for historic. Now, obviously I am using stock footage. You guys obviously are going to use your own content and whatnot that you might have for your book. So we are just using some stock image to fill up our book a little like so 
And now after that, we have, you know, detailed details about the chapter. We can start writing information within this. You can build 10, 20, however many pages you want. And I'll show you guys what it's going to look like. So if I go into the present section, this is what the book is going to look like. So people can go through it like this, you know, like so people can go through. Now, this is just one design. If you're looking to build something from scratch, that is also a very easy thing to do with Canva and you can even make it a flip book. So if you want to convert simple books or your ebooks into something that's easier to look at, you can go into share and go into more over here. And then if you scroll down, you have this option in design called simple booklet flip. So you're going to click on this and this is another application that enables you to create your design as a flip book. So it's going to prepare your design and it's going to open up their platform where you can convert your ebook and you can view it in simple booklet flip. And you can just sign in with Google, Facebook, or Microsoft, and you can just go on ahead and build flipbooks with that. So now it's preparing our Canva design. And the best part about this is that you can choose how you want it to look like. So I want this to be uh, a page curl. That's the style I want. And you also have advanced settings as well. But I'm just going to click on convert over here. And just like that, it's going to convert our basic design into a ebook that is, you know, flippable. This just helps in making it easier for your customers to read. You know, a lot of customers prefer their book to look like this. This can be a great way to make it, you know, visually more appetizing for your customers. Now, if you want to do this with any design on Canva, you can do it. it it's not a paid feature. This is available absolutely for free and you can go ahead and get started from scratch as well. So if I was to get started from scratch, I would go into elements, go into shapes like this, and then I'm going to enter a pink shape. You know, I'm going to use a simple color and then I'm going to enter a similar block this time over here and then change the color on this one a little like this and then convert this into texture like this and then I can just add some texture over here like this we're just going to join these elements together and we're going to bring this to the front and I'm just going to add some more texture and I can enter you know the title of the book and then I can go into the next page and start writing the contents and the rest of the pages as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe.